This is the story of how we drove a Lucid Air Dream Edition range farther than any production EV has ever traveled before on public roads on a single charge. Anytime that a new electric vehicle is introduced to the market, people always want to know about its EPA estimated range, or the range they can expect to travel before the battery is completely depleted. And while that range number doesn't really encapsulate everything that the vehicle is capable of, it is a great place to start when considering purchasing a new EV. Because of this, generally speaking, I wouldn't really ever recommend anyone purchases an EV that offers less than 200 miles of range. But 200 miles is a good place to start. Really good EVs offer at least 300 miles of range, and there's only a few at the top that offer 400 miles or more. However, late last year, Lucid Motors did something previously thought to be impossible. They delivered their first EVs with a range of well over 500 miles, and they didn't do it by just putting in a massive battery pack. Sure, it does have a pack of about 118 kilowatt hours, but they did it specifically with their incredibly efficient, compact, and powerful in-house designed electric motors. Motors that are capable of delivering 4.5 miles per kilowatt hour of energy stored in the pack. So I called them up and I asked them, what is the farthest we could hypothetically travel on a single charge if the only number we care about is range? And they said, we can loan you one if you want to try and find out. And that's how we ended up here, driving a lucid air hundreds of miles in what seems like endless circles. But let me back it up for a minute. After that first call with Lucid, I called up a bunch of my friends who I've done crazy drives with before. From left to right, I've got Ryan, Jordan, Zach, myself, Lacey, and her partner Tim, who's currently behind the camera, and Josh. Not knowing what we might achieve, I applied for our effort to be recognized as an official Guinness World Record attempt. The current record for the longest drive of an electric vehicle on a single charge that doesn't have solar is 999 miles. If we could somehow get a thousand miles out of this lucid air, doubling its EPA estimated range, we would have a new world record on our hands. Next, we had to decide on our route. I brought the team out to Utah because I thought we could use the frontage road that runs parallel to the highway along the Bonneville Salt Flats. But unfortunately, to our dismay, that road hasn't been maintained in years. So we needed to make a new plan. We needed a long, flat, public road that was somewhat close to the charger and didn't have very much traffic. So, to maximize our efficiency, the group split up to do a little location scouting. Josh, Ryan, and Tim went in the Lucid, and I took Lacey, Zach, and Jordan in the Rivian. And as you probably could have guessed by now, while the Rivian team had a little bit of fun on the salt flats, the Lucid team actually found a pretty good option for us. At the end of the day, we decided to start our trip at the West Wendover Electrify America in Nevada, driving through the night along the side of the highway, then back and forth along a 15 mile stretch of road directly south of the Great Salt Lake. Time is 8.34. On what day? Today is May 10th, 2022. All right. Plug it it shows the drive yeah, here we go. Alright. Our plan was to drive at a constant 27 miles per hour, switching drivers roughly every three hours. Anytime we needed to stop or turn around, we would switch into neutral and coast, accelerating slowly back to 27 miles per hour each time. As we got started, we discovered that the Lucid Air would only display a maximum efficiency of 6.4 miles per kilowatt hour. While we believe this to be a limit of what the computers were willing to display, it also suggested that our attempt might be limited to 750 miles. Other than that, everything was going to plan. That is, until we discovered a slow leak coming from one of the tires. Fortunately, Lucid support wasn't too far away, and they were able to swap on a properly pressurized tire during a scheduled driver swap, but that absolutely hurt our efficiency. Here it goes. Too fast, too fast. <laughs> All 
right, we're waiting here until Zach pulls up. We're gonna do a driver switch. This will be my second round and I'll be going for another three hours. As of right now, we're projecting just over 700 miles on this charge. There's a fan that Jordan bought and then a bunch of water bottles in the backseat too. Cool, I brought a bunch of snacks. 72.4 miles and lost 9% state of charge, so not bad. Three hours later. All right, it is my time to drive the Lucid Air. And so far, we've gone 540 miles. And we still have 24% remaining. All right, we're at 599 miles and 15% remaining. All right, send it. Many hours later. No one's done this before. The lucid, so we're aware of. I like, I, you want to know something great? And also, this is really embarrassing now, <laughs> is that I've never run out of charge. <laughs> that is pretty great. So, this will be the first time. <laughs> some Quick, let's switch drivers. Keep your record clean. I know. Park to drive? That's it, 687.4. <laughs> That's cool that you can drift it though. That's nice. It's more than some other. You got another foot. <laughs> oh! That's it. It's trying. Finally, in the middle of the night, at the end of our effort, we had driven 687.4 miles. A new record for a production car on public roads, but still a long way from the Guinness world record, including prototypes on private tracks. Looking back at it, 700 miles is absolutely within reach. While we did a lot of things right, like taking out the extra weight of the floor mats and increasing the tire pressures, we know we could have done a bit better with smoother roads and wider turnarounds and better weather. At the end of the day, when I was planning this record attempt, I think I overlooked a very important number, the 0 .200 coefficient of drag. You see, with efficient vehicles, it's really difficult to make them more efficient, and that's absolutely the case with the Lucid Air. We actually might have been more successful trying something ridiculous like the Hummer EV rather than the Lucid. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.